Hi, this is part two of the Azure DevOps REST APIs video. So if you haven't watched the part one video, please check the link in the description. In the first video, we saw how to fetch the repository and pipeline details through Azure DevOps REST APIs. And in this video, we will see how to fetch the details of this prints through REST API. So here I've created one sprint and added one test work item in it. So this sprint is in project one and it is a current sprint. So let's add a new method in our existing class. So this is the class that we have created in the part one of this video. So I'll add a new method here to get this sprint data. So for now, I will return void. Uh, we will return the model object later. And to fetch the sprint data through REST APIs, we have to use this API, which is provided by Azure DevOps. So I'll copy this. And we will use the same structure that we have followed earlier of creating a token format and credentials. So I'll copy this from here. Let's create an HTTP client. And for base address, we will use the DevOps org URL. And then we have to pass the project name. So we will use this method to get project name. And for passing the credentials, I'll copy the code from here. Now create a response object. And here we will pass the rest of the URL. And then we will check if we get a success status code in the response and populate the data in a JSON variable. Now let's check whether we are getting the data from the REST API. So for that, let's quickly create a new razor page. And from that page, we will call get sprint data method. So here I have copied a div and it will show the sprint name and sprint path. Now from the code, let's call our get sprint data method. We have to add the get sprint data method into the interface also. So I'll add this. And I'll add a link for the navigation bar also. Now let's run the application. So here we are getting a success response. And in the JSON object, uh, we got the data for our sprint one. Let's save the file and reformat this data. So here, as we can see, we got the data for this sprint. The name is sprint one and it is under this path. Now to create a model class using this JSON object, we can use a feature provided by Visual Studio. I'll copy this. Add a new class under models. Copy 
call it sprint models. Click on edit. Go to paste special and paste JSON as classes. So what it will do is it will create a model class based on the JSON object that we have. Now we will just modify the property and class name and add data annotations for the properties. Let's rename the class as sprint entity and then rename the value class as sprint. And instead of array, we will use a list of sprint object here. And now we will rename the properties and use proper case. And then we will add JSON object data annotation on the class and JSON property data annotation on the properties. And in the JSON property, I will use the property name from the JSON object. Now to deserialize this JSON result object, we will create a custom JSON helper class and then use Newton's of JSON to deserialize the JSON data. And finally, we will return the sprint entity from the get sprint data method. So let's add a helper class here. Let's add a custom JSON helper. I'll write a generic method to return uh, deserialized JSON data. And we will use Newton's of JSON here. Now let's utilize this method in the get sprint data method. So here I'll create an object of our entity class. So we will use our custom JSON helper dot get deserialized JSON and pass our entity class name here. And as a parameter, we will pass the JSON result. And from get sprint data, now we can return the sprint entity. So we will return the sprint entity object. Now go to sprint.cshtml page and here we can define a list of sprints. So this will come from our model class. And then populate the sprints list. We just have to change the return type in the interface also. And then on the page, we can use a for each loop to display the data. So here we will display this print name. And in another column, we will display the URL. Now let's run the application. Now go to sprints.
and here as we can see uh, we got this print data from the azure devops rest apis thank you for watching the video please like the video and subscribe to the channel